Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So I know it has been a long time since I've last uploaded my video, but believe me guys, I'm not kidding a bit. I had so many, many brides to work on. So if you guys follow me on my Instagram, you guys would see how many brides I've been working on. And I barely got any time, plus my feet was hurting. So as soon as I reach home, I'll just go straight to bed. Anyways, today's video is all about testing out this ABH palette, the new one by Jackie Aina, and I'm super excited. So first thing first, I am going to start off with a moisturizer. For that, I'm using my Pixi Hydrating Moisturizer. I've literally used up the entire tube, as you can tell. Uh, literally ended up cutting it and using it whatever was left in there. It's, I'm so addicted to this cream. For foundation today, I'm using my Milani Foundation. And I'm using a flat brush. I believe the brush is in number 34 by Sephora. And I've used that in shade 10 and applied that all over my face evenly. I haven't got a sleep for a couple of my, uh, weeks now because I would have brides early in the morning like 2.30 a.m. And then I'll have a bride again in the afternoon. So it's been really crazy but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Now for highlight, I'm going to be using my MAC concealer uh, and that will be in the shade NC30 and using the same brush and blending it out into my skin. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, um, you're going to see the kinds and the styles of brides I've done lately. Also, I have this other Instagram called Brides of Asmeri where I post all my bridal photos and their hairstyles and everything. If you guys want to follow me on that one too, please go ahead. I don't usually post it unless uh, someone reaches out and I say, yeah, sure, all my bridal work is there. My bridal works are on the separate page and it's not on my actual Instagram page. On my Instagram page, I post here and there, but I don't really post so much of bridal work. Now to set everything all, I'm using my Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder. And lately I have been baking, but at the same time not baking it that much, so which means I place it on, around the eyes and right away I'm like dusting it out. Because because I haven't gone a lot of like I haven't really got much sleep my under eyes are super dry and I'm super dehydrated it's hard to keep yourself hydrated when you're constantly working around the clock but you know I don't complain because I get to do what I love doing which is to you know dress up brides and I'm totally happy with that now for contour I've used my MAC cosmetics this is in the dark deep I believe it is their studio sculpt powder but I will write down the product details on the description for you guys to have a look. For nose contour, oh my gosh, don't even look at my Benefit Hula Bronzer. This one is done. I ended up getting a new one though. I love using this one for my nose contour and also for my face contour. But today I've just used this for my nose contour. To set all of that, I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This will put everything in place together. So here I have some crazy amount of highlighters given by Supernova Cosmetics. They have these amazing highlighters and all of them are so beautiful. This one, the one I'm using is actually called Plutonium. It has a very subtle glow, kind of like, kind of like in between pink and bronze and gold I don't know how to explain it to you like when you see in the box it's very like powdery but when you apply it, it applies like so smooth and there's no shimmer particles whatsoever it's so so nice but we have a twist at the end which I'll show you in a bit now for blush I'm using California Dreams by Benefit Cosmetics this is actually one of my favorite and all-time favorite blush now I'm going to try another new product. This is the Anastasia, Anastasia, oh my gosh, Anastasia Beverly Hills New Eye Concealer. This is pretty interesting because um, it looks super light on my eyes, but you know what? As soon as I used a blending brush, it blended out really well and see how it looks now. And it's perfect because all these eyeshadows will go in so nicely. Now for the eyeshadow palette, I have the Jackie Aina's palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills 
and all the colors were amazing and as you can see it when I'm applying it it applies so smoothly there's barely any fallout the colors look absolutely stunning here This pink is actually stunning. It, if you look at the palette itself, the pink pops out of the palette. It's so beautiful. The next one is called Pinker, which is a little bit of a uh, darker mauve pink. It has a hint of purple in it as well, which makes it very vibrant on eyes. Especially, like, you can tell the difference. The pink you have, which is called Supreme, and then Pinker, which is a little, like, mauve has a little bit of that, um kind of like a magenta tone and then we have the big wig which is the one that I'm applying for the outer corners and this is more of a purpley color I try to use as much as color from this palette uh, and they're all so 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 very stunning honestly they're so stunning it's very hard to choose from the colors now one color that I kind of regret for not using it on my eyelid which was called the color Zaman Z-A-M-N this color is the one where I went to Sephora and I was kind of like, should I get this palette? Because I've already bought the Riviera palette and I bought the um, Alice Edward palette, but I haven't got a chance to try these palettes yet. Should I really go for the Jackie Aina palette? And as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Anastasia Beverly Hills. I mean, I will be surprised if you're not a fan of Anastasia Beverly Hills. Every artist sort of is. And when she tried this color on my hand, I was like, whoa I have to get this color because this is outstandingly beautiful you know and so it was kind of I was kind of mad at myself for not having to try this color plus my camera was acting up so weird today like it wasn't focusing and all the stuff I guess I have been filming for so long I kind of forgot how to set up my camera properly so I was having a lot of trouble with my camera but anyways the next color that I'm using which is a nice purple it's called Shockington and for the inner corners, see what I mean? My camera cut that entire part off. It's called Trust Issues, which I use on the inner part of my eyes. And the eyeshadows, guys, I have to say, they are super pigmented. They're super duper nice. Like, I loved it. Now, for eyeliner, I'm using my NYX eyeliner. This is their liquid eyeliner. And I'm going to use this color called Soleil. Soleil. Soleil, I guess. On my brow bone. And for my lash, I'm using Benefit, uh, sorry, for my mascara, I'm using Benefit Cosmetics Mascara. And I'm applying that on the bottom and the top eyes. For lashes, I'm using Morphe Lashes in, in the, sh it's called Hypnotic. Um, this actually was recommended by one of my clients and I have fallen, fallen in love with this lashes because it makes your eyes look so much more prettier. And the band is not even as thick as the other brands that I've seen personally. So this band was just perfect. It fitted on my thin eyeliner so perfectly. For my eyebrows, I'm using Cabra, Cabral, by, Cabral by Benefit Cosmetics in shade 4. And I'm using their little brush that comes with it and honestly it just does the job so beautifully. I feel like the brush was sort of made for the eyebrows anyway so it shapes the brows really nicely. And that's it for the brows. Here I'm just topping it up with one more coat of liner just to make sure my liner looks smooth and straight because sometimes what happens is I'm very clumsy. While applying lashes, I sometimes get the lash glues outside the liner. So now here I'm just thickening it up a little bit to give my eye that shape. See that little shape I'm creating there? There you go. So I'm going to do the other eyes and I'm going to do my hair and I'll be right back. So that's it guys, my eyes are done and it's time for lipstick. For that I'm using Dusty Rose by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I can't pronounce Anastasia for some reason today. Yeah, it's called Dusty Rose by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to set everything with my makeup setting spray by Urban Decay's All Nighter. Now for the twist. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. Look at this highlighter. Oh my gosh. This is called Rose Quartz by Supernova Glow. 
I love the way it has turned out. That pop of pink, sorry, I don't know, what is it, pink or purple? Whatever it is, man, it was just so beautiful. It was like, it just put, I don't know, it just brought the look together. It gave that look, that Baba Boom kind of look. Because at first it was just like any other makeup, pink and pink, or fine, whatever. But this highlighter just brought it together. Like never in my dreams I would imagine putting a highlighter of this color. But oh my gosh, I fell in love with this highlighter because it looked so good on my skin tone. Amazing, I loved it. So here I'm in love with this Jackie Aina uh, palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills and I loved how the look came together and I love Supernova Glow for sending me these amazing shades of highlighter. They have some more that I can't wait to try. That's all for today's tutorial guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was kind of like trying out some new products here and there. I am going to come up with more so for that stay tuned. Till then take care and don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.